commissioners and the president of Cook County Board wrote our committees, cut our jobs, cut the services, and, the, and at the same time be building up the top portion of county government. It's time, it's time that the little people's voices are heard and they got to understand they're going to be accountable for every one of the cuts they think they're going to make. I'm talking about all the cuts. We are not going to balance the budget at Cook County on the back of the best workers in the country. <laughs> President Strozier and the county board have to find courage. They got to go to Oz to find the courage that it's going to take to raise the taxes. If we stay together and united, nobody can be defeated. Believe me. Call you, call those commissioners, call President Sosa's office. Don't let anybody off the hook because it's about your job, it's about the future of our communities, and it's about the services for the people of Cook County. One, two, three, four. Let's catch the ball. One, two, three, four. The Chicago Tribune published an editorial criticizing public workers and saying that we had hijacked the budget hearings and asking where are the taxpayers and concerned citizens, why aren't they speaking out? Sisters and brothers, we're not here speaking out just for ourselves and our jobs. We are here for all the sick people who are sitting in class today. Waiting for services in lines that are already too long and worrying about where they're gonna get health care next. We are here today for young kids who are first time offenders who are in probation programs trying to turn their lives around and who have nobody else to speak for them. We are here today for the victims of crimes that haven't even been committed yet who, who know that they will need justice in the criminal court system and for those wrongly accused and for every accused person who needs a public defender because they can't afford a lawyer. If the Chicago Tribune would think about it, maybe if they read the Sun-Times today, they would know that the problem isn't with us, public sector workers on the front lines. The problem is that there are too many do-nothing administrators giving frontline workers a bad name. Every time one of these useless do-nothing people is on the front page of the Chicago Tribune, we're the ones who pay for it, and Cook County people who need our services pay for it too. This budget can be fixed. It would take only one quarter of one penny increase in the sales tax to fix this budget. The property tax hasn't been raised in 10 years. 10 years. That could fix this budget. We need to let people know the pain people are suffering every single day because they don't have health care. It's not just a Cook County problem. It's a national problem. And we're here to speak up for those people who can't speak for themselves that are dying every day because they don't have health care. We're not going to stand for it. We're going to make sure that we get health care nationally because Cook County's patients aren't the only people that are suffering. Cook County's people aren't the only people that don't have adequate housing and education and police services and other vital, vital services that people need to survive. This is a national crisis. We were in Washington just on Saturday to raise our voices against the war because all of that money is cutting the health care budget, cutting education, cutting housing, cutting all the other services. So we're here to speak up on, on behalf of everyone here.